All right, y'all, it's Action Jackson, and I'm here with Willie. Let's go. Uh, you know, um, growing up, man, I'm, I, I started like when I was around about maybe one or two years old. All right, y'all, it's Action Jackson, and I'm here with Willie. Let's go. Uh, you know, um, growing up, man, I'm, I started like when I was around about maybe one or two years old, man. And um, my mother and father, we had a pretty good life, man. I mean, my dad and mom worked, both worked at Philomars, you know, and, and I mean, we had everything I was by me being the only boy. I had everything I wanted and I never had any secondhand anything, toys, clothes or anything. You know, I got three sisters, you know, and um, they love me unconditionally you know I mean anything that I asked them for they would give it to me but by me being homeless now and, and being an addict you know they don't really want to give me anything because they saying hey you're going to take the money or you're going to take the things that we buy you and you're going to go and sell them okay but uh growing up my mom and dad did pretty well you know um but my father had a had a drinking problem and you know he would come home on the weekend and be drunk and everything and uh want to fight my mother and then he would really fight i lost two siblings behind my father fighting my mother you know what i'm saying um can you I, can you go deeper into that willie about yeah, the sibling of, of course um well my sisters um both of them all three of them got pretty good jobs they got pretty good jobs um they got their own houses and everything and uh i got nieces i mean about losing them about losing oh them. oh by losing my sisters i mean my, my siblings, other siblings yeah uh, well, my father came home um, one Friday. This was the first one. He came home one Friday, and my mother was cleaning up the house. We had wooden floors, and, and I mean, she used to keep them clean, man. I mean, keep them spotless. You could eat off those floors, man. And um, my father came in um, one Friday night after drinking, and uh, he started acting crazy. And uh, the next thing I know, man, I hear a, a bunch of scrambling and tussling downstairs. And I get up out of my bed and I come downstairs and my father's fighting my mother and he's got her pent down and, and I mean I mean he's wailing away on my mom man and and I'm going like mom 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 and uh next thing I know I see a spot of, I see blood on the floor and everything and and I think my mother well I'm more than sure now because this is what my mother told me that that she lost a child and and it would have been a boy and I would have had a brother and uh. And the next time, I, I guess it was maybe around about eight, eight years old, and, and she was pregnant again with another sibling. This would have been a sister. So I would have had a brother and another sister. And uh, and he was fighting her. He knocked her, her teeth out. He knocked one of her teeth out. And uh, and I told him, I said, when I, when I get a big boy, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you for fighting my mama. And I meant it. And, and my mom said I ran in the closet and hid. And I know for a fact, to this day right now, if they had still been together, he would still have been fighting my mother. I probably would have killed her. Because my mother, man, is my queen, and I love her unconditionally. Well, she's gone now. God rest her soul. She died February the 25th of this year. Uh, she was my queen, and man, man, I love her too. Unconditionally. And, and I lost the sister this time. Um, and it was as if nothing ever happened. And she loved my dad, man. I mean, she didn't cheat on him. She didn't go out and, and, and do anything wrong. She, she went to work, came home, cleaned the house, took care of her kids, which was us. She took care of us and everything. And uh, to this day right now, it, it hurts. And I can see a flashback and seeing him fighting her. You know, but uh, as when they broke up, they, 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 they became very good friends and they became close. Um, It's, it's just hard to, to, to talk about that part right there, but uh, I'm gonna go in, in into it, you know, with a little more depth. Uh, my father uh, was born in Georgia, and my mother was born in Maryland, and they got together and, and, and they came up with us. And uh, he was a strong-willed man. I mean, a strong-willed man. He, he took care of mom, he took care of the house and everything, but he had that drinking problem, he had that hand problem and everything. And eventually they got divorced. They got divorced uh, when I was 10 years old. And at the age of 10 years old, we moved over in Oregon Hill. And if you know anything about Oregon Hill, Oregon Hill was, was, was a racist neighborhood. 
we were the only black family in Oregon Hill. And I used to have to walk to the store. And in the process of walking to the store, the white kids would holler, nigga, nigga, nigga. And when you hear them holler, nigga, 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 they was letting the other white kids in the neighborhood know that a black kid was in their neighborhood. And I don't know how many fights I got into, you know, behind that right there. That's how I learned how to fight, because like I said, I didn't have any brothers. And father, my dad wasn't around, you know, to, uh, to show me how to do these things. So I learned how to fight on my own. And I won some, and I lost some, but for the most part, I won most of them because I had to fight, and I had to fight for me. I had to fight for my sisters. You know, and it was it was hard. I mean, it was hard. My mother had to scramble, and, and I had to fight for my sisters. I had to fight for myself. You know, but uh, for the most part, man, you know, it was it was it was it was a hard life. It was a hard life after dad and mom separated. It was real hard. I, I had to be the man of the house and everything. And any man that that my mother decided to bring home. I had to make sure that this joker didn't have a hand problem because if he had a hand problem, I always knew where the gun was at. I always knew where that was at. My mom said, oh, I'm going to keep the gun up on top of the, uh, the cabinet in the, in the kitchen. So, you know, if anything happens while I'm not home, anything, and then you need to defend yourself and defend your sisters, you know where it's at. You know, not telling me to go out and kill nobody and not telling me that that's pull it out and show it to my friends or anything, but she was letting me know I was the man of the house now, you know. So that's where the gun was kept and everything. But I never had to had to, had to pick up a gun, you know. I didn't, didn't have a, a life where I, I stayed in a bunch of trouble, you know, because I knew I had to stick around and be with mom and, and to be with my sisters. So I made sure that uh, I didn't get in any trouble, you know. But I'm not saying that I, I was squeaky clean because I did do some things that, that would have sent me to jail for a while and whatnot, you know, but as I got older, I learned the white man, per se, not, not saying that all white people are bad, because I've met some, some white people that are, are extremely great. You know, they would, they would bend over backwards to, to help us, you know, but uh, I made sure that, that I try to keep myself pretty straight.